हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस बिगिन अवर फर्स्ट टॉपिक इन बायोलॉजी क्लास 11 व्हिच इज लिविंग वर्ल्ड लेट अस फर्स्ट बिगिन अवर डिस्कशन विद कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ लिविंग बीइंग्स सो फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू टेल व्हाट आर लिविंग बीइंग्स एंड हाउ वी विल डिफाइन द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स so many things around us you have seen like uh, mountains oceans plants we find many things around us from mountains oceans to plant and animals and the earth in which we live is made up of several things these things can be categorized into living or non living so you can see the living world is wonderful and range of living types is amazing and life is unique complex organization of molecules all the living organisms all living beings or we can say living organism they breathe they eat they grow they move they reproduce and have sense but all the non living things they do not eat do not grow do not breathe so here life it is a unique complex organization of molecules and it expresses themselves through chemical reactions these uniqueness leads to growth development response adaptation reproduce making them as unique as living being okay so all the living things they have life though some might not show this evident sign for example you can tree you can see a tree that would probably not react the same way a human would now defining the characteristics of living being first is the darwin of the 20th century that is ernest meyer you can see ernest meyer in 1904 he born and 2004 he died he developed the idea of origin of species the central question of evolutionary biology that is today so what are the characteristics of living being one by one we will discuss here the diverse organisms such as fungi plants insects vertebrates they all are made up of cell we always say that cells is the um, cells are the basic unit of life okay without cell our body cannot be make, made up of basic unit of life okay so the diverse organisms such as fungi plants insect vertebrates they all are made up of cell and they have similar internal organization and functions internal organization means inside the body that is inside the body and next is a single celled amoeba or bacterium or any giant multicellular human they all share basic characteristics means if i talk about living beings all living beings what they do they are made up of cells they responds to the environment they grow and develop they obtain and uses energy they reproduce but there are some exceptions so what are the characteristic of these living beings that will include growth reproduction ability to sense the environment metabolism ability to self replicate self organization interaction and emergency so all the living organism they exhibit locomotory motion they exhibit locomotory motion means they are able to move and animals are able to move as they possess specialized locomotory organ for example earthworm they move through the soil surface through longitudinal and circular muscles and plants move in order to catch sunlight for the photosynthesis and living things respire also 
because all the living beings they have respiration this is a chemical reaction which occurs inside the cell to release energy from the food here the energy will be released energy will be released and they are sensitive to touch that i told you that is the ability to sense the environment what exactly it is means if you are giving any stimulus to that, that particular organism means living things they are sensitive to touch and other stimulus also and they have ability they have capability to sense changes in the environment they grow also as i told you growth living things mature grow through different stages but always remember that is internal growth growth may be internal or external so they grow living things mature and one of the striking feature that living things are capable of producing offspring that already i told you that is the reproduction and genetic information is passed from parents to the offsprings or you can say parents to the next generation and they acquire and fulfill their nutritional requirement to survive through the process of nutrition digestion which involves engulfing digesting the food engulfing and digesting and some living organisms are also autotroph you know what exactly the autotroph is autotrophs are those organism which make their own food and they are not dependent on other organism for their food some living organisms are autotrophic which means they make their own food the digested food is eliminated from the body through the process of excretion so these all are the characteristics here one is emergence means at the time of emergency some hormones are going to release like adrenaline this can happen only in the living beings that is why we are saying stress hormone or hormone for the happiness anything it can be interaction that is why we are calling as human being as a social animal because without interaction that is human being will not be called as a human being and self organization means everything will be organized means group cell our body is made up of cell group of cell will form tissue group of tissue will form organ and group of organ will form organ system and similarly a body will be formed in this way okay so all the living things they possess life all the living things they are capable of giving birth to their young ones and for survival living things depend on water air and food living things they are sensitive to the stimulus and you know what exactly is metabolism it consists of two parts that is anabolism and catabolism it consists of two parts means all the chemical reaction whatever is taking inside the living being this is a unique feature which is found only in living organism that is very important okay so what exactly the anabolism is and what exactly the catabolism is so anabolism it refers to the building up anabolism that refers to the building up to build up and if i talk about catabolism catabolism it will call as breakdown or we can say the breaking down of complex material into simple molecules and metabolic reaction they constantly occur in all the living things living organisms undergo growth and development and they have a life span and are not immortal living things move from one place to another as i told you that is the locomotory motion and their respiration and exchange of gases takes place and human beings animals plant and insects these are the examples and here is one question for you moving towards next slide some important features of living organisms or some important feature of living beings growth reproduction metabolism cellular organization 
consciousness. These all are the factors which are totally responsible for being a living being. Means growth, it may be internal, it may be external. But if it is found in living organism, it is then totally it is internal growth. And for reproduction, I told you that reproduction that is the one of the characteristic feature of all the living organism. But some exceptions are here. For the reproduction, some exceptions are here like uh, sterile of uh, sterile organisms. We can say like worker in honeybee, ants. Okay. So, some examples are there and uh, metabolism, I told already that catabolism and anabolism. Two type of activities will be takes place here. Catabolism and anabolism. And now come to the consciousness. Consciousness, you can say that is the self-consciousness. But there are again some exceptions which is also given in the NCRT that if a person who is in coma, then what you will say that is a living or non-living. That is called as a living. That is why we can say that consciousness that is not the defining feature of living beings. But there is no exception for metabolism. Reproduction exception I told you because there are so many offsprings or so many couples you can say they don't have any offspring. They don't have any child. It means they are sterile. They are not fertile. And if I talk about growth, so growth it occurs in non-living also. For example, sand dunes, mountains, these are the example. And uh, cellular organization, this is one of the characteristic feature which is found in the living beings. Okay, so these all are the important features of living organisms that is growth, reproduction, metabolism, cellular organization and consciousness.